y'all it's danielle with willow creek farmery i just wanted to give y'all an update on how the garden's doing and show you a little bit about the projects that we've been doing around the homestead uh, so i'm going to turn the camera around now and give you a close-up of the garden so you can see how everything's doing since we did the planting and fertilizing so as you can see everything's popping up quite well the potatoes are just amazing absolutely gorgeous I swear every single potato that we put in the ground has sprouted up um, doing amazingly well and then of course we have the beans they're doing great um, popping up we did have a good size storm actually come through here in the southeast or the Gulf area and so everything's quite wet and you'll see some of the plants actually have you know the dirt on them from where it's splashed up from the rain um, and the rows are a little worse for wear uh, but the plants didn't break doesn't look like we had any limbs come flying off on anything so to be honest we're like super lucky that everything went our way but as you can see the green beans and the rattlesnake beans are doing really good the potatoes are doing great the turnip greens and the collard greens are all doing great actually well enough that we'll probably have to go through and thin them a little bit because as you can see they're kind of just massively growing up on each other um, but we'll thin it out here after they get a good bit bigger so that way they have room to just kind of quantify and then I'm sure all of y'all are wondering about the corn so we want to be 100% honest with you here um, and let you know how it worked out for us so we used the fertilizing method that we tried in South Carolina um, that worked well for us there now with that said we did try it um, we used a new corn this year from our local feed store and the corn is doing pretty well actually we have a great bit of it popping up in a row all the way down but we do have a little space here so you can see we have a couple plants here and then you'll see a space and then more plants right so there's a couple spaces where we lost a couple of the corn just due to maybe some burning with the fertilizer but for the most part everybody is coming out nice and healthy super green ready to go so it wasn't a total loss it wasn't even near half a loss um, but you know we're not going to need to fertilize again this year and we'll know for next year that we're going to wait until the corn's just a little bit taller before we actually do the fertilizing here um, and on top of that we're going to go get some additional corn seed and we're going to go into these empty spaces here and we're going to plant some in between there so obviously they'll be a little shorter than the other ones but they should all ultimately grow out around the same time and if the old saying is true as long as we're knee high by july we're golden and we still have time to get there so i know the camera on this phone probably doesn't show everything the best it could but it's all popping up beautifully green um super lucky how everything's going so far this year and fingers crossed that it keeps going so well because I would really really love to make some canning videos for y'all this summer um, and also some of our vacuum seal videos and show you how we like to store food and put it away and hopefully have enough canned to where it lasts us over a year all right y'all we promised you a project so here it is if you can't tell we've decided that we're going to spice up the front of the house here at the homestead we really hope you enjoy the video uh let us know what you think in the comments
So I bet y'all are wondering what Ryan's doing right here with just one bucket full of dirt. Well, we've had a little bit of problem there on the corner of the front porch where rain will just come right off the roof and kind of like pound that corner there and eat away at the dirt or erode it, if you will. And so he's taking a scoop of dirt and filling that in a good bit uh, before we start the rest of the project. Yep, that's us. Those people that stuff 30 plus plants and four really big ferns in the back of their Jeep Wrangler. And you're wondering how they all got it in there. Uh, but to be honest, I wasn't complaining. The ride home smelled amazing. And anytime you looked in the back or the back seat, it just looked like a jungle. And honestly, who wouldn't like that? So I have to say, I absolutely love all of the flowers and plants that we were able to get from Lowe's. Uh, they have a wonderful smell, gorgeous colors. Uh, the majority of them are perennial, so we'll get to see them come back year after year, uh, as long as, you know, we take care of them. And then last but not least, I love the banana plants. So it's going to be wonderful walking outside the front door and being able to actually grab your own bananas. But on top of that, it's going to have like this wonderful, majestic, kind of tropical feel once those banana trees start getting a little bit taller. And that was something I could never really experience in South Carolina. Now, don't get me wrong. We do have folks that grow um, citrus and bananas and things like that in South Carolina. But the majority of those are actually grown in a greenhouse. They have to stay in there or they're potted inside someone's house because we do get colder temperatures than we do here in Alabama. So it's quite nice having the option of doing the bananas. And we really do hope to get some citrus in the ground as well. I also want to give a quick shout out to Miss Barbara. You know who you are. Thank you so much uh, for sharing with us that you had passed by the house for years and had always wanted to see plants or flowers out there. So we hope when you drive by now, you get to see a little pop of color. And thank you so much because it looks better than ever.
time to replant the grass in the hole. What little grass we got. Might not live, but it's worth it anyway. You have somebody take that before you do it. They're crazy, they're all sitting here. Is that where the banana tree is going to go? I can get a pulse on it, baby. Yeah, he did a surf teacher? Yeah. So what's this going to be put? Banana. See, this dirt is moist. Where's that one that has a two? What's the one I want? Put this one there. In the way, you're in the way. Move. degrees in April. But it's beautiful. Yeah, that comes up so much easier in South Carolina. What the world? We would have been digging for like <laughs> a little while. Everybody wants to be a landscaper in Alabama. <laughs>
crashed on. Oh, come on, though. <laughs> Whoa. That some deep roots on that. Right, let's continue this. Grab that tape measure.
be with this at the very bottom. I don't think there's any such thing as extra mulch. I'm talking about this one this time. Unless you're going over the... Alright, we're going to keep these. There's probably a little bit. Oh, they went and brought friends back. That's cool. Eight. So they quadruple and then they double. Oh, that's all It's probably a good idea to like sit them there and see how they look. I remember, we still got to have some on that corner. Yeah, that... Um, I was thinking that. Yeah. You could put those in between some of these other ones to pop the color. Yeah, but we may have to end up getting more. But that may be good in the front, too. I don't know. What do you guys think about the color placement? Yeah, go pop, throw some pops of color in with the other one. We'll water them once we put the mulch down. Get them in the ground, put the mulch down. So which ones are all annuals and perennials? Uh, the little individual cut ones are um, annuals. And the bigger ones, like the purples, the whites, the banana trees, the roses, those are all perennials. What about the white ones? They're perennials. They'll come back every year. Very. Huh? 
like how it's black since we matched it. I think it'd be the shutters. It's like a wood, it's like painted white, and then the most is black. I'm gonna get some more fun. And be able to watch it eating bananas. I don't know if y'all noticed, but your dad does put a little bit of dirt back down in the hole so that way the plant is even with the ground, like the dirt out of the pot. Did you get a splinter? Ooh. Yeah, Keisha saw them right away. They're okay. They're really coming. I used to. That was supposed to be that, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, dig a hole right here. We're just going to improvise. Get it, RJ. You're a whole digging beast.
never leave anything half done so the shutters were naturally going to come next i think y'all are really going to like how these turned out That's crazy. Y'all see how many mud dauber nests that is? I don't think they maybe ever took those shutters off since they put them on. Be careful, babe. Is there more? Oh, you that's, took the thing out the way. There's a wood. So they're good? Yeah. Those are better than normal? Man, I thought they were plastic. All right, y'all, it's completely done. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'd love to hear from y'all. And thank you again for tuning into the channel and watching today's video. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.